Hello everyone. Uh, I've recently got Adobe Photoshop CS5 and I'm going to show you the big new feature which is of course the new content aware feature. Uh, we did have content aware scale or something in Photoshop CS4 uh, but we now have a much more advanced and a much more usable in my opinion uh, content aware features in Adobe Photoshop CS5. So I'm going to show you with the spot healing brush to start off with. You've now got in your top, you've got along with proximity match and create texture, you now have content aware. And of course you can sample all layers if you would like to. Um, so I'm going to select the golf ball here. Just You want to give it a little bit of breathing room as well when using it. Just so it can sample better. But as you can see it's removed quite nicely. It does blur the edges. I'm not sure if you can turn this off but it does blur the edges, it's not the hardness or anything, it's as hardness as 100 um, but yeah it's a good starting point and I'm going to show you the content aware fill so I'm just going to select the hole and again you want to give it a little bit of space and then uh, hit delete or backspace and uh, just have contents use content aware we would have had foreground colour in uh, Photoshop CS4 but now we have content aware, hit OK just take a second, it's quite a big image, and uh, there you are. Similar thing with the blurring, but it looks very nice. It suits everything, it just looks pretty much like it's meant to be there. Now, you can always fix this up and get rid of the blur and whatnot uh, with a little bit more time in Photoshop, but for a starting point, that's fantastic. That's much easier than it used to be in Adobe Photoshop CS4. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this new feature, and uh, please uh, rate, comment, subscribe. I know I don't say that very often, but please do, and I'll see you next time.